membership at the Idea Exchange Old Post Office Makerspace allows you access to a variety of innovative creative technology. This tutorial is part one of two of our large format printer series, and it will demonstrate how to set up the printer. Our large format printer is fantastic for photographers, architects, engineers, or anyone looking to print documents or images larger than your standard sizes. We stock four types of paper, plain bond, double matte, glossy, and premium semi-gloss. All four types of paper look great and allow for many different applications. We tend to print photographs and images on semi-gloss and documents and drawings on matte, but it is entirely a personal choice. Each paper type comes on a roll and the width is 24 inches. Your print can be as long as you'd like, but the maximum width you can print is 24 inches. Keep this in mind when setting up your artboard in CorelDRAW, which we will expand on later. When you first power on the printer, you'll want to make sure that there is enough ink loaded in the machine. Our printer uses large ink cartridges that last a long time. You'll see a visual representation on the small screen showing how much ink is left. If ink needs replacing, open the ink cartridge cover and pull out the ink that is spent. Simply replace with a new cartridge and close the cover. Next, you'll want to make sure that the paper in the machine is the same paper displayed on the LCD screen. Hit the over button and you will see the paper type that is loaded and the amount of paper left. If you are planning on printing on the paper currently loaded and the printer screen is showing a different paper, change this on the screen so that they match. This step should be a rare occurrence. To change paper types, hit the load slash remove paper button. Next, hit the unload paper option from the menu. The printer will prepare itself and unload the paper. It will also print a barcode on the bottom of the paper that the printer will use to detect how much paper is left the next time it is loaded. Next, lift the roll paper cover and slide the adapter holder lock lever to the unlock position. Lift the paper out by the roll paper adapters and place the whole thing on a large desk so that they are easy to work with. Raise the adapter lock lever to release the lock on each of the two roll paper adapters. Slide the paper off and put it in its box. Take the new roll of paper and attach an adapter to each end of the roll. Press the adapters in until they are fully inserted in the roll with no gaps and lower the adapter lock lever to lock each of the two roll paper adapters. Next, confirm that the adapter holder lock lever is raised and slide the roll paper in until it contacts the adapter guide. Next, following the adapter guide, slide the roll slowly inside. On the LCD screen, hit the load slash remove paper button and then roll paper. Insert the leading edge of the paper until it just barely becomes visible out of the front of the machine. Next, lock the adapter holder lock lever. Close the roll paper cover and hit the OK button on the screen. The paper will then be loaded into the machine and be ready to be used. Thank you for watching part one of our large format printer series. Check out part two to learn how to set up your images in CorelDRAW and send them to the printer to print.